Garner says Samuel told her, quote, There are two things I don't like, Mom. I don't like men with cameras, and I don't like being loud. Day, ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner's 18-year-old daughter was seen out in Los Angeles, sporting a recognizable outfit, a two-toned pink dress. The breezy Dolce & Gabbana design she chose for her lunch outing had previously been worn by her stepmom, Jennifer Lopez. It appears that Jennifer Garner, who is often the epitome of poise and composure, has finally had enough and made the decision to reveal the details of J.Lo and Ben's turbulent divorce. Rumor has it that Jen Garner is unhappy with how J.Lo has been acting in the media recently. Honestly, who is to blame for her? Unbelievably, after Jen Garner put so much effort into shielding her children from the media drama, J.Lo has been exploiting Jen and Ben's three children to maintain her public profile talked about what it was like followed um and how scary it was and how much she didn't want to go places because she knew she, it was embarrassing it was scary and she just it wasn't worth leaving the house the background on this is that j-lo is allegedly upset since she believed ben would come back to her after their breakup but surprise surprise ben is out here having the fun of his life hanging out with jennifer garner and their children and not giving a damn about j.lo's desperate attempts to get his attention on August 15th, he even celebrated his 52nd birthday with Garner and their kids, all while J.L.O. was preoccupied with sharing pictures of herself wearing tights on Instagram. Ben hasn't been paying her any attention, so it appears that J.L.O. has switched to her backup plan. In an apparent attempt to promote her image as the ideal stepmother, she has reportedly been setting up these highly rehearsed walks with the children of Ben and Jenner Garner. After all, it's sending out major PR vibrations, right? And there's more boldness than that. She also got Ben's daughter Violet an outfit from Dulce and Gabbana for a laid-back day at the office. Well, J.Lo, we see you, but are the kids really the cutest props for a photo op? It's crazy because it appears like J.Lo has been spending more time with Ben's children than her own during the last few months. Furthermore, Jennifer Garner has every right to be incensed, dot she has, after all, been enjoying her life, putting her kids at the forefront, and playing it cool while J.Lo appears to be fully committed to damage management. J.Lo is obviously attempting to steer the story, but Ben and Jen Garner aren't having any of IT. What comes next, then? Will J.Lo continue her PR gimmicks and thirst traps? Regarding J.Lo exploiting her children for publicity, what did Jen Garner say? Let's dissect this. Jen Garner against the press. It would be impossible for Jennifer Lopez and Jennifer Garner to be more dissimilar, and as their lives continue to play out in the spotlight following J.Lo's split from Garner's ex-husband, Ben Affleck, it's becoming even more clear. First, let's talk about the spotlight. As a well-known actress in Hollywood, Jen Garner views the paparazzi that follow her as an unavoidable evil that comes with the business. She clearly would like to be anywhere other than in front of those cameras, though. She has, however, been quite protective of her three children and has made it her duty to preserve their privacy. Jen Garner took the issue of shielding her children from paparazzi so seriously that, in 2013, she spoke before the California Senate in favor of a measure that outlawed the practice and was eventually enacted into law. Garner teamed up with Halle Berry to tell horrifying tales of how her kids' lives were being turned into nightmares by photographers before they were even born. Garner also revealed that outside her children's school, a stalker who had threatened to kill her pregnant kid had been seen hidden among the photographers. J.Lo, on the other hand, is completely different now. She is an extreme attention seeker. This girl seriously is obsessed with cameras. She has been caught red-handed organizing elaborate paparazzi walks on many occasions, even bringing her children along for the posed shots. And since she broke up with Ben, J.Lo has turned things up to a whole new degree. She is obviously doing all in her power to remain in the news, as seen by the meticulously planned picture sessions that have only been more frequent. Whitney Port, a former cast member of The Hills, is criticizing Jennifer Lopez for arranging for paparazzi photos in the Hamptons. In a recent podcast episode, Whitney states, I'm pretty sure J.Lo rode her bike to get a scoop of ice cream for a paparazzi shot the other day, because Candy Kitchen in Bridgehampton is so special. J.Lo's spouse stated that she was only there for the exterior photo and never inside the ice cream store. He described Jennifer's actions as strange and said that she was dependent on attention Whitney concurred. She claims that's her vibe she's become well-known all around. Her never-ending attractiveness and adorable surroundings are what drive the machine. The contrast is very amazing. 
Jen Garner is making every effort to keep her children out of the spotlight, while JLo appears to be going above and above to maintain her prominence. It makes sense that she is attempting to control the story so much, given all that has been going on between her and Ben. In all honesty though, it merely serves to accentuate Jen Garner's already sophisticated, protective motherly appearance. Ultimately, the only true similarities between these two ladies are their names and the fact that they both developed feelings for Ben Affleck. However, they are complete opposites in terms of how they manage notoriety, privacy, and public scrutiny. Jay Lono uses her company to maintain her prominence, but when she involves the children of another lady in it, that is when she went too far. Unbelievable as it may seem, Jen Garner is refusing to let Jay Lo include her children in her PR damage control plan. Damage control and the stepmother act of J.L.O. J. Lo is furious with Ben Affleck since they have been spending a lot of time together with Jennifer Garner and their children ever since he packed up and moved out of the house they used to share. She truly believed that Ben would run back to her, but it was evident that this was not the case. She now appears to be frantically attempting to establish herself as the perfect stepmother, and she is being accused of exploiting Ben and Jen Garner's children as a means of enhancing her own reputation. Two days before to Ben's birthday on August 13th, J. Lo was photographed shopping with Ben and Jen Garner's 12-year-old kid Samuel in Beverly Hills' Neiman Marcus. To be honest though, based on the paparazzi recordings, the small man appeared really uncomfortable and exhausted from all the cameras around him. The fact that Jen Garner previously disclosed that Samuel, out of her three children, finds it most difficult to cope with paparazzi only serves to further complicate matters. Jen Garner stated, he detests them the most during her visit on Dr. Oz. He despises them. He also adds, I don't like that each and every time he sees the cameras, which is still every day. Mom, there are two things that I dislike. I'm not fond of cameras. Men with cameras bother me. Furthermore, I dislike being made fun of. If it seems like you're making fun of me, it bothers me. J.Lo continued beyond only Samuel. She also immediately went after Violet, the 18-year-old daughter of Ben and Jen Garner. Get this J.Lo sent her an old Dulce Gabbana garment as a token of their courtship. Violet was recently spotted having lunch in Los Angeles while looking amazing in that two-toned DG wrap dress. Fans, though, aren't into it. They claim that J.Lo is unable to let go of Ben and is now attempting to maintain a relationship with him through Violet. Honestly, it appears like she has suffered a serious loss of face, particularly in light of the entire Greatest Love Story documentary that she released. Supporters were also quick to bring up J.Lo's four-year relationship with Arad. However, you don't think she's still in contact with his children, do you? Do you recall the Christmas photos she used to share? when her family was all dressed alike in pajamas and appeared to be the ideal family. Indeed, her current sales pitch isn't being accepted by the public. Who else isn't buying it, guess what? Yep, Jennifer Garner is correct. Jen Garner looks over JLo. Rumor has it that Jennifer Garner has gone above and beyond to maintain good relations with JLo. But Jen Garner seemingly went all mother bear and urged JLo to back off following her most recent shenanigans with her kids in front of the cameras. Really, is it really her fault? Jen is terrified that after J.Lo and Ben's divorce is finalized, J.Lo would just abandon her kids, leaving Jen to pick up the pieces and explain why J.Lo is suddenly out of the picture. Jen has worked so hard to protect her kids from the headlines. According to those close to Jen Garner, she's worried since J.Lo allegedly persuaded the kids that they were all part of a single, happy family and that she will always be there for them. Jen Garner, though, isn't having it. She fears that, similar to what happened with Arad's girls, J.Lo would abandon those children once she makes the decision to end her relationship with Ben. One admirer said, J.Lo's portrayal of the devoted stepmother always makes me think of Arad's daughters. They were together every day for over four years. She expelled them from her life and didn't turn around. They have a mother, who is not a stepmother, said someone else. She is only one of the ex-partners of the children's father. She must have concern for her own children. She is now too consumed by Ben Affleck. However, how do you feel about J.Lo suddenly being around Ben and Jen Garner's children so much? Do you think she truly has a relationship with them? Or is she only putting on these events to enhance her own reputation?
Please share your opinions in the comments section, and don't forget to look at these events to improve her own reputation. Please share your opinions in the comments section, and don't forget to watch the following video.